the idea of exploring the cosmos has interested humans for years. It's likely that early humans would have looked up to the sky and wondered about what was up there. Due to the advancements we've made, we are now able to travel to distant planets. The world's best scientists and researchers have now been able to place robots on Mars. And now various space agencies are gearing up to put humans on the red planet. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has been responsible for numerous incredible achievements and has made countless discoveries. It's one of the best research agencies in the world and one of the first to conduct space exploration. Since the first launch into space, there have been many technological advances and discoveries whose protagonists have been the agency's researchers. Apollo 11 was the daring mission set by President John F. Kennedy. On July 20, 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to land on the moon. Around six and a half hours later, Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. It's been estimated that over 650 million people watched the moon landing. It's said that it's one of the most impressive things that humans have achieved, and since then many other space missions have taken place. It's fair to say that the Apollo missions inspired millions of people across the planet. Many children watched the iconic spacewalk, and this ushered in a new wave of space enthusiasts. One mission that's created a lot of talk is that of a secret Apollo mission. When you read up on this though, officials have said that later Apollo missions never happened due to strict budgets, and the proposals were scrapped altogether. Amateur researchers though have suggested that instead of scrapping these missions, NASA did in fact go back to the moon without the public's knowledge. The reason they give for NASA going back is to retrieve mysterious unknown crafts. Now before I continue, it's important to note that NASA and other officials have said this mission never happened, and that it was created by those who looked too deep into why the missions were cancelled in the first place. They go on to say that it came down to budgets, and that future missions cost too much. However, this hasn't stopped amateur researchers from suggesting that something else was at play. They mention that during many of the Apollo missions, unidentified flying objects have been encountered, and it's due to these encounters that led to the space agency wanting to explore certain regions more. This isn't made up either. Many astronauts over the years have come forward with their own stories about seeing unidentified flying objects. Strangely though, when asked about these experiences years later, many of them seem hesitant to comment on the matter and then suggest that the explanation was most likely something natural. It's behaviour like this that's caused some to put forward the idea that perhaps they were told not to talk about what they'd seen. In recent years there's been a special interest in the dark side of the moon. This popular term refers to the fact that the same physical half of the moon is always facing Earth, which in turn means there's a dark side. This side, however, has been at the centre of many claims, most of which include that there's either bases or other strange things going on there. One idea is that on this side of the moon humans have managed to build large outposts, and one of the reasons they did this here was because this part of the moon is always facing away from Earth, meaning they could get away with whatever they wanted without getting caught. There's one secret mission though that's caught the attention of researchers, and this mission was said to have been carried out in order to retrieve mysterious crafts. The mission was allegedly able to find these crafts, and not only that but other artifacts like cities that looked to have been there for thousands of years. One of the most interesting discoveries though is that of an artifact known as the Hibernating Mona Lisa. The humanoid is very realistic, which is one of the reasons why so many people believe that this mission happened. Unfortunately, not much information can be found out about this mysterious humanoid, only that she was hibernating in one of these giant spacecrafts that was discovered close to the landing site. Many close-ups of the being were shown, with some being convinced that this may be the real deal. However, after some additional research was done, some came to the conclusion that the alien being along with the video was fake, and that they were created by an artist. 
It's important to note as well that NASA and other officials have said these videos are fake. The videos were also uploaded to the internet on April Fool's Day, causing some to think this was just someone messing around. Although this may be the case, this hasn't stopped people researching the phenomena. Going back, the former head of a secret government program who was tasked to investigate UFO sightings came forward with some bold claims. They told several media outlets that extraterrestrial life may exist. They further said that millions of dollars have been put into the research of exotic technologies, which are affiliated with unidentified aerial phenomena. These headlines caught the attention of many around the world, as for the last 80 years people have been coming forward with their encounters with mysterious lights in the sky. It's important to remember that a UFO is simply an object that someone cannot identify at that moment in time. It's only been in recent years that UFOs have been linked to extraterrestrial beings. With that being said, the thought of planet Earth being visited by another life form is exciting for some. Others have said if you're going to believe any reports of UFOs, you might as well trust those coming from the men who have actually been to space. The list of those who have made claims of sightings includes Edgar Mitchell, Caddy Coleman and Dr. Brian O'Leary. Buzz Aldrin has also spoke on his experience on board the Apollo 11 when they saw something flying alongside them. At first they thought it was the final stage of the detached rocket, until Mission Control confirmed it was 6,000 miles away from them. Dr. Brian O'Leary, former NASA astronaut, said the following. There is abundant evidence that we are being contacted, that civilizations have been visiting us for a long time, that their appearance is bizarre from any kind of traditional materialistic Western point of view, that these visitors use technologies of consciousness. They use toroids that are co-rotating magnetic discs for their propulsion systems, that seem to be a common denominator of the UFO phenomena. Another interesting report comes from Carl Wolf. Former US Air Force Sergeant Carl Wolf is perhaps best known for saying that he saw photographs of an alien base on the moon. Carl worked at Tactical Air Command at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia during the 1960s, and is thought to have been involved in projects that were classified. He was recently involved in a bike crash from which he didn't survive. Carl made the extraordinary claims back in 2001. He stated that the photographs he saw proved that extraterrestrial structures were on the far side of the moon. Going back, he worked as a photographic surveillance technician. This meant he worked with the machines that process video footage. He claims, however, that on this particular occasion, he was asked to review some images. When he looked, he could see they were taken during a recent lunar mission. While there, another employee asked him to take a look at another photograph. These were the ones that showed a mysterious base on the moon. Carl said the following about the incident. He pulled out one of these mosaics and showed this base which had geometric shapes. There were towers, there were spherical buildings. There were very tall towers and things that looked somewhat like radar dishes, but they were very large structures. After seeing these photographs, he thought that the discovery was going to make the news. However, he soon realised that the news never broke. He then thought the discovery must have been covered up. Although these claims do sound incredible, there's no proof of these structures on the moon. Bold claims need strong evidence. The only way to prove if these were genuine is if someone was able to get hold of these photographs. However, there have been images presented that allegedly show mysterious objects on the moon. Scientists in NASA though state that what people are seeing is pareidolia. This is when the mind tricks us into seeing things that aren't actually there. For example, you may see what appears to be a face on the moon, when in reality it's nothing more than an illusion. Interestingly though, officials have just announced the discovery of off-world vehicles, which some say could once and for all be the smoking evidence that we've been looking for that could prove that we're not alone. So what do you make of these discoveries? And do you think that NASA and other space agencies have carried out secret missions? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. 
and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.